Now the Bible story that we're going to have today is called Cain and Abel. Now, as you know, Adam and Eve had to leave the Garden of Eden. Now, they then went on to have two children. They had two boys, which were Cain and Abel. Now, the two boys worked hard and were very nice to each other. Now, when they grew up, something changed. They both had a relationship with God. And because they respected and loved God so much, they both gave God a gift. Now, Cain was very good. He used to work the field and everything he put his hands to flourished and worked. And he was pleased because he knew that if his God didn't send the rain, the sun to make the plants grow, then all his labours would be in vain. So he was pleased and he was happy with God. Now, Abel was completely different. He liked to work with the animals. He loved the little lambs and the cows. And he was very loving towards his animals. And he also wanted to please God. So they both decided that we will offer the first of our produce to God. Because he's a good God. He's created this world. He wakes up every morning and he makes our animals grow well. He keeps them from diseases. And he makes our crops grow well. So they both decided that Cain decided to give God a gift of a bundle of wheat. And Abel decided to give God a sacrificial lamb for the firstborn. Perfect in every way. Now, God had a look at Cain and Abel and saw that there was something not quite right. He searched their hearts. He looked into them. And he looked at Cain and he looked at what he'd brought and he could see something wasn't quite right. So he didn't accept his gift. He says, thank you Cain, but I'm not going to accept your gift. There's something not quite right here. And Abel, he looked at Abel, searched his heart, looked into his mind and said, Abel, I like what you have done here. I will praise you. And I will bless you because your offering is good of your sacrificial lamb. So, Cain saw that God had accepted Abel's gift, but he hadn't accepted his. So Cain decided to do something about it. Now, Cain was very upset. Jealousy crept in. This is why it's not good to be jealous of people. You should bless them and thank them. They are something better than you or something newer than you. But Cain didn't do this. Cain got together a plan to get his brother out of the way, far away from home. And they went out one day, wandering in the forest. And then while Abel wasn't looking, Cain picked up. And he hurt him very badly with the rock. Now, this was not a good thing to do when you're angry. So, with the result of Cain's anger against Abel, Abel was hurt very badly. So, when Cain went back home, God asked Cain, Cain, I've been looking for your brother Abel. Can you tell me where he is? Now, God knew and saw what Cain had done to Abel, but he wanted to ask him, Cain, I will ask you again. 
where is your brother Abel? Now Cain was very angry. So Cain says to God, Am I my brother's keeper? I don't know where he is. Leave me alone. So God says, Oh Cain, you have done something very bad to your brother. And I can see your brother's blood on your hands. You have hurt your brother very badly. And he will never be alive again because of what you've done. And God said to Cain, because you have done this horrible deed and you have not confessed your sins, I will cast you out of this land where your hands have grown your crops and I will make the ground never yield any crops for you again. The trees that you plant will never bear fruit. Anything that you do, you will not prosper. Now, Cain looked at it knowing that, well, how can I eat? How can I do anything? You make the crops grow. And Cain was very sad. And Cain was crying and weeping, saying, God, no, you can't do this to me. Why? Why you've done this? And God said to Cain, you know what you've done. What you've done is very bad. And I will not accept it. And it is for you to think about what you've done. And Cain said, I, I can't cope with this. I may as well not live if the, I'm going to be cast out. And other tribes will, will kill me. And other people will devour me. And... God said to Cain, no, this will not happen to you. I will make sure you are not harmed. But you will have to live without my blessing. But you will not come to any harm. So Cain, being very sad and very remorseful of what he'd done to his brother, left the fertile land and had to go out in the wilderness and had to survive out there without the blessing of God. Now, again, jealousy, wanting what somebody else has had, be it love, goods, things, is not a good thing. That's why, as Christians, it's good for us to bless, not be nasty to people, not to say hurtful words, and to be kind, to people even when people are not being kind to us that's what having the love of God in us is about so I'd like to say thank you God bless you that's the end of our story now if you would like to receive one of our pocket Bibles I ask you to email me head teacher Colin Rankine at email address there which is homeschool at live.co.uk we'll send you one of these bibles now on page 52 is the lord's prayer it's a very good to start early to have that relationship with god and that all starts on page 52 on your lord's prayer now when you receive your bible read it once in the morning once at night before you go to bed and then you will not make those mistakes that others have made before you. But God bless you. We'll see you again at Bible Story Time.